All righty, next up we have Venti by Erica Harlicker. I really love how in spirit she is with Genshin. I love that she streams the game. I love that she does Genshin like cosplay things, like especially like for Venti, like when she sings and stuff like that. Absolutely love her. Also, she voices for on Takamaki in Persona 5, which is Persona 5 Royal is my favorite video game of all time. So yeah, I'm actually super excited also to learn about Venti, about Barbados, you know? So birthday, June 16th, which recently passed, affiliated with Mondstadt, no Gnosis Animo, one of the many bards of Mondstadt who freely wanders the city streets and alleys. All right, here we go. Character details. An unknown bard that came from nowhere sometimes sings outdated songs and sometimes he hums new ones that none have ever heard of. He likes apples and lively atmospheres, but hates cheese and anything that is slimy. When channeling Animo, it appears in the form of outstretched feathers because he likes things that look light. Oh, look light. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. Character story one. Back when traveling bar venti had only been in monstat for a few months his income was far less than any other established bard in town but once he had a few more in the pot for his performance you could be sure that he would hurry off and spend it in the same place every time one of the city's taverns unfortunately for venti his childlike appearance meant that his attempts to acquire alcohol failed every time the first time he was refused service he was heard grumbling i'm sure there was no such preposterous regulations last time i was here once he realized that the same rule applied to all taverns in town he decided he would have to change his approach the strategy he devoted was drinking on the job that is to say playing the liar while holding a wine cup in his mouth urging his audience to pay him to drink from the bar if they liked his performance instead of giving him more dude you don't gotta you don't gotta get that sauced my guy the novelty of this made him quite popular in Mondstadt there was just one snag he couldn't help but sneeze if a cat came by oh damn that means I guess you don't go to the cat's tail then if he happened to be holding a, a wine cup in his mouth when it happened needless to say it would spell disaster venti therefore had one golden rule when selecting a spot to perform and it was that there was no cats in the vicinity easier said than done the stray cats of monstat seemed to be quite drawn to him i don't remember if he mentioned that in the quest but i wouldn't be surprised if he did it's been a while since i've done that quest i do like how basically it's like well you, i can see why you're always at the angel share tavern because you know the you know the cat's tail has like the alcohol and cats incorporated which is great that i know that now because we just did diona's hangout a couple of days ago character story too there is a towering oak tree at the center of windrise said to have sprouted when vanessa ascended to the heavens a millennia ago in the few past months travelers resting in the shade of the great oak sometimes heard a young boy singing the tales of barbados the animal archon unlike the ruling deities of the other nations barbados had long left monstat in fact the only visible proof of his connection with monstat is the statue of the sevens that appear across the land even then the resemblance is vague at best. Fortunately, Barbados's past deeds are recorded in books and epics sung and passed on by the bards. In contrast to those more canonical works, Venti's ballads tend to inquire bizarre adventures and acts of mischief, which at the time of Barbados's pinched the cryo archon scepter and replaced it with a hilly churl's wooden club. Worshippers of Barbados are quick to decry the frivolous tales as blasphemous fabrications, but whenever someone confronts Venti about this, he resumes his response to suggests that he has not an ounce of remorse. You could say that they're uh, fabrications. He has a point. Even the most devoted sisters could not possibly know the details of all of Barbados's deeds from a millennia ago. Only Venti knows the truth behind the song lyrics, and it is a truth he hides behind an enigmatic smile. That's what I'm saying, dude. I really think Venti was like goaded back in the day. His approach and 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 demeanor now is, is like a facade of what he used to be, which I think that'd be kind of cool. Reasons being, yes, Venti's tall tales of Barbados's unorthodox exploit are entirely fabricated. Hey, Venti finds that a few drinks really get his muse going. Can you really blame him? Oh man, I can't wait. I can't wait to learn more about Venti, dude. I feel like we still need to ask Venti about Conria before we go to Inazuma. I don't know if it's gonna happen though, but I, I'd really like to know. Character story three. Okay, this one's great. Around 2,600 years ago, the Archon War had yet to end and the world had yet to fall under the dominion of the Seven. In those days, the city of Mondstadt was surrounded all all sides by gale impermeable even to the birds in the sky their ceaseless howling ground the soil and the rock of the city into smooth flowing dust the lord of wind who lived in the high tower was decarabian god of storms he squinted from his high at his subjects who bowed before him in the unseasoned winds and believed them submissive thought this good in those days venti was but a single thread of a thousand winds that roared through the northern lands he who would in latter days be known 
as Barbados. I don't know why I struggle with that. Was but a tiny elemental spirit without a shred of divine dignity. A breeze that brought subtle changes for the better and tiny seeds of hope. In Mondstadt of old, Venti met a young boy. This lad knew how to play the lyre and longed to write the greatest poem of all. I do so wish to see the birds in the in flight. So the boy said, who had never seen the blue sky, eagles, or the green grass. His voice almost utterly drowned by the wind. Friend, will you not come along? Yeah, and we know about Venti's appearance is after that bar, that boy who died during the revolution of old Mondstadt from Decarabian. So it's great that they incorporated that too, because that's pivotal to like the entire nature of Venti. The elemental being Venti obtained the feathers of an eagle from a lad living in the storm shrouded city who had never seen a bird in his life. Then war broke out in Mondstadt for, in the name of freedom with the feather tucked away in his oh is that the feather wait is that a feather on his head hold up is that is that this is that a feather oh it's the feathers on his belt okay that's pretty actually oh i didn't realize i can get that close pog oh that's so freaking good oh, on this two one for him and one for the boy oh all right let's go back into that with the feather tucked away in his breast pocket venti watched the fall of the eccentric ruler amidst the rack and ruin of revolt together with his friend the ruler had believed that he had given his subjects a city free from the bitter cold and to the end he believed that they had loved him as he loved them yet despite the victory venti was unable to give the feather to the lad for that lad had fallen in battle for the sake of song sky and birds and for the people who like him had dwelled within the storm wall from the crumblings of an ancient seed of divinity a new god was born the animal archon barbados felt power flowing through his fingertips his first use of his power was to recon reconstitute himself in the likeness of the young lad for only if he wore human shape could he play the lyre that the lad so loved plucking at strings he scattered the ice and snow and split the mountains with a divine wind he bade Mondstadt become a city of freedom a nation without a king in future he believed it would become a better more romantic city surely he too would have wanted to live in such a place thus a new age began for Mondstadt holy shit <laughs> this man like deleted the ice age I guess he split the mountain and that split of the mountain is what ended up in the golden apple archipelago which is pretty cool and yeah like uh fly fly away like a bird in the sky see the world on my behalf to the heavens may you fly that's the that's the that's the song that he sang at the end of his uh, character quest. God, it's so freaking... Venti's so freaking awesome, man. The animal archon cannot take credit for everything in Mondstadt. Credit should be given where credit is due. I shall sing now the praise of things beauteous and true. Oh, damn. Freaking... Uh, we're getting into some bars over here. We thank the west wind whose enduring caress brings the blossom of spring by those sent are we blessed. Finches, ducks, birds, and boars. Mondstadt's revival bid them thriving evermore in summer the lion walks the plain no words one finds to praise it but these do you do you sweat out your water to make way for wine come the heat of the summer for your mane of sunshine this is so cool the mountain mouths and gorges low like drunkards wayward lie but the east wind cares not for it doesn't walk it flies over the fruit trees it brushes low but its wings bring the harvest of things that grow i'm like messing up the flow of this but i it's still pretty creative the north wind is a silent oh, okay this one's uh andreas the north wind in the silent forest slumbers and after it paces the wolves in their numbers but most have never a glimpse of them seen for the wind knows that none of winter's too keen yet the animal archon glimpses and see and sees that it dreams each night of warm revere. He's a freaking rap archon right now. As the four seasons in turn shall say their peace, so the four winds too shall never cease. Of course, to look at it differently, I am one who should be credited here and not they. Credit should be given where credit belongs. If not to the bard who pens the song, then to those who ensure that the tales are passed on. Damn, that one was good. I'm surprised his lore didn't talk about Lady Vanessa all that much because I know like she was pivotal from liberating 
fighting Mondstadt the second time from like the aristocratic era. But you know, maybe we'll get more to that in like the books. Oh, or uh, maybe they'll actually talk about it in this next passage here <laughs> where the wind doth not blow. Okay. After 1600 years of history, Mondstadt's freedom had sunk to the heretofore unseen low. Barbados unwilling to become a tyrant had departed, but he had not imagined that those to whom he had gifted freedom shall make themselves a tyrant. The, the aristocracy ruled Mondstadt with a cruel hand, bringing slaves into the, this land and ignoring the cries of the oppressed. Thus, the animal archon returned after the 1600 years to what was once the city of freedom. He heard the cry of the slave girl, Vanessa, and together with her, rised a rebellion to overthrow the aristocracy. Take that, Lawrence clan. Besides Eula, you know, all things considered. Now the above is what all know to be the official history of Mondstadt. The story is an interesting, little-known twist, however. The one who united the people of Mondstadt in this conflict was indeed the hero, Vanessa. But that which caused many of aristocracy's troops to turn coat was a treachery against the wind. A secret treaty was found, a betrayal of the city. The aristocrats had forsaken the winds and sold everything in Mondstadt to the Geo Archon of the neighboring land. At the treaty's end was carved an insignia, imitatable by all save the deity so-called Rex Lapis. How the soldiers that had once oppressed the slaves shuddered when they saw that they too would become slaves in a foreign land. The news and the conflict spread like wildfire, consuming the aristocracy. It was only many years later that historians would discover that the treaty was fake. Damn. As it turned out, Venti was once practicing the art of forgery in order to play the prank on the- Oh my god, Venti, really? As it turns out, Venti had once practiced the art of forgery in, play in order to play pranks on the Geo Archon, but could never deceive the god of wealth and transactions. Even so, his adeptness would come into play after several hundred years what a happy coincidence oh my god that's kind of interesting how that all worked out though that's pretty funny no i have not read the manga yet the manga is gonna be after we read all the character stuff so that's not gonna be for a while i'm surprised this one says vision and not gnosis because zhang li's says gnosis so let's see vision the seven archons do not need visions for well i mean i guess he carries a fake vision so maybe that's why the seven archons do not need visions for they already have great power yet barbados is fond of mortal world and wants to roam monsters that more freely as venti as such he constructed a glass or ornament much like very much like the visions worn by those chosen by the gods the imitation is no special ability nor does venti rely on it to channel elemental powers however since venti does not keep the holy liar de Hamel by his side and since he is too lazy to bring a normal liar he gave his fake vision the ability to turn into the wooden liar der furling or furling i didn't even know his liar had it his like regular liar had a name that's kind of cool der furling i don't know how to pronounce that i don't know what the thing on the top is that's pretty cool your last attempt was good okay all right so let's get into his uh his dialogue now uh, 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 rise and shine oh that was a refreshing sleep ah oh, traveler we meet again what you don't remember me what <laughs> well allow me to join you on your quest once again i must see to it that the bards of the world tell the traveler's tales Ah, oh, man, I love this. Sure, I'll play you another tune. But it'll, but it'll cost, cost you an apple. apple. Right now, I wish I was sitting at the top of a tree, looking out over a meadow, cider in hand. <sighs> Come on, traveler. Let's, let's go. go. The world is full of lost ballads just waiting to be rediscovered. Let's go jumping in puddles and see who can make the biggest splash. I still feel like Venti has that, like that wind spirit essence to him. Like when, like stuff like this, this is such, this is like so playful and innocent and childish as well, you know? And that's kind of how he started. He started off humble beginnings as a wind spirit. It stopped raining already? Oh, a shame. I wanted to play some more. Let's wait till the snow gets heavier and have a snowball fight. <laughs> the wind has returned. Quick, let's go gliding. Wouldn't gliding be faster? Morning. Ah, what's in store for today? My tummy is rumbling, but I can't get caught pilfering food from the Dawn Winery again. Oof. Oh, it's you. Where are you heading? May I join? Absolutely. Hmm, I'm still not sleepy. Fancy an evening stroll? Off to the land of Nod? <laughs> Farewell, my friend. Gosh, I love his little, <laughs> like his little chuckle. Practice? Me? There's no need. I already know every song in Tibet. Mm. I've decided to write a song about you. Ooh. What are you giving me that look for? Can't afford it. <laughs> Don't be preposterous. Hey. The price for you, my friend, is precisely zero more. Let's go. Come up. Although, 
One thing you could do is tell me a few more of your stories. <laughs> Once the heroine in the song has actually rescued the prince, I will ensure this song spreads to every corner of the continent. <sighs> An evening breeze really sets the mood for becoming my disciple, don't you think? We can do it right now. You just need to make me a small offering. Oh, okay. What's that? Do you think I should try harder to be a good animo archon? <laughs> well, you could be a better devotee too. You could be more pious, more passionate, or um Damn dude, I'm already out here trying to save the world, bro. Hmm? You wanna know about my vision? Oh, go on then. Take a look for yourself. I can make you a matching one if you like. <laughs> Ula! <laughs> Ooh la. Oh, hilly churls. Yeah. Why, I learned it to aid with my songwriting, of course. Vast knowledge makes for a richer composition. Nice. That said, I haven't actually written any songs in hilly churlian so far. Uh, you gotta talk to Ella. I mean, I have a hilly churlian book. You can borrow it. Traveler, have you ever seen a Cecilia? It's a magnificent white wildflower that only grows on the most remote mountains and cliff tops. Yeah, I got a thousand to of those. To me, at least, it's the most beautiful flower in all of Tevat. Yeah, it's super rare. Yeah, I have like over, like, I think I have like 1100 Cecilia or something crazy like that. Acting Grand Master Jean. Well, what do you think of her? <laughs> yes, I couldn't agree more. Conscientious, courageous, kind and considerate, too. <laughs> <sighs> Reminds me of another good friend. Vanessa. Yeah, they're both the Lion Fang Knight and the Dandelion Knight. Makes sense. Makes sense. I also think, I think she inherited the Aquila Favonia from her as well, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not surprised you want to befriend Master D. Luke. Just <laughs> think of all the vintage wine he must have stored away. <laughs> huh? Uh, he doesn't let you sample it? Damn. Not even the slightest what a, drop? What a cheapskate. Huh. Well... I guess you can still appreciate the aroma. That's still better than no wine at all, right? No? <laughs> the darling deaconess with the sweet singing voice. Do you know her? You do? Idol, huh? Mm -hmm. Meet and greets? Concerts? Yeah, she's wow. popular. That's the power of music for you. Ah, the white-haired fellow from Wolventum, yes. Raised by wolves? Really? <laughs> huh, no wonder. That unmistakable body odor. Hey, that's not nice. He's out here freaking, you know why? Because he's out here like sweating, putting in work. What are you doing? Nothing. Oh, that astrologer? How should I put it? Fortune telling and my singing are the same. Both lead to you being so poor you can't even cough up the money for a drink. <laughs> you think that astrology oh, is a cultural man. tradition so at least still has some value? <laughs> huh, so rude. In that case, so too is singing. So it still has its value, too. There's a special drink known far and wide at Cat's Tail. Uh-oh. But it... Uh, yep, there you go. Uh, I was waiting for uh, it. Uh, how about you go and fetch one for me? I'll be truly thankful. I promise. <laughs> Imagine that, a wind spirit allergic to cats of all things. That's funny. Ooh, he talks about albedo? How do you explain white chalk in black soil? Or the Earth's dense crust amidst the emptiness of space? My boy. Same reason the purest soil gave birth to human life. It's an ancient power with unmistakable properties. Trying to harness it is dangerous indeed. I can't imagine what would happen if someone lost control of it in the city. Oh, fuck off. Uh, <laughs> never mind. What goes on within Mondstadt's walls is up to Mondstadt's people to deal with. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. I swear to God, dude, if they make, if they turn Albedo into like a fucking killing machine, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to. I'm not going to be happy. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, Albedo has, like, literally all the makings of... Like, if if Albedo just decided one day to just go crazy and mad with power, like, that's it. Game over, man. Like, it's going to take the Archons to take his ass down. Come on, man. You didn't even talk about Albedo. You just talked about the potential that he has to cause destruction and ruin. That's not cool. Have you seen that gentleman around? Huh? He's just a normal man by the name of Zhang Li now? <laughs> now that must be quite the change for that old blockhead <laughs> come with me to see him, blockhead? Will you? i have a vintage i dug up from windrise that i can take as a condolence gift oh uh, that's funny oh uh <laughs> did he still seem strong when you saw him <laughs> how strong 
Am I likely to get blown away? I love how he called him a blockhead because he's like the Geo Archon. That's so funny. Eula has good taste Whoa, when it comes Eula to too? beverages of the alcoholic variety. Come summer or winter, she always likes them ice cold. Pog. That's rare among Mondstatters these days. She and I would make great drinking buddies. <clears throat> huh? My song's about the Lawrence. I don't know. She's heard them already? Eh, no harm done. Maybe she and I can do a duet sometime. Yeah, let's talk about the fall of your of your clan. Let's talk about how I just shit on the entire aristocratic era. I just bodied your entire family tree. No hard feelings. Let's let's sing about it. It'll be great. Perfect timing, traveler. I was about to ask you. What is your greatest wish? To be reunited with my sister. There's never a dull moment traveling with you. The only minor inconvenience oh. is that pesky little pixie thing that follows you everywhere. Uh-oh. She never stops eating. <laughs> I can't begin to imagine how much you spend on food. Damn, talking shit about... I mean, I was about to say, it's been a while since anyone has really talked about Paimon. I think Albedo was like, can I study her? The Pyro Archon is a wayward, warmongering wretch. And the Geo Archon what? is a brutish, blundering buffoon. How do I know? Because this is written in the epic poems of days gone by. Yo, uh, what's that? Morada? Mur I think that's the Geo. Sorry, the, the Pyro Archon. I don't know if that's the same Pyro Archon. Cause I know Morada was a Pyro Archon. Dude, that's so freaking cool. A wayward warmongering wench. Well, I mean, she's the god of the goddess of war, right? Isn't that like what the Pyro Archon is all about? That's so cool. I just love just hearing them reference characters that we haven't seen yet. That's really exciting to me. Celestia. I'm not sure even I could fly that far. Ooh. In any case, the water there tastes foul, and the fruit is bland. Ah. You know what that means. No cider. Damn. What the hell's up there? <laughs> in that case, I wouldn't go there even if I was invited. Who who chills in Celestia if, if the Archons aren't even allowed? He says, I wouldn't be there even if I was invited, which implies that, like, that isn't somewhere he can just willy-nilly go. Then who the fuck is chilling up there? Isn't that, like, the realm of the gods? My greatest wish? It has always been to roam free and experience the whole world. Now, I would add that wherever I go, it simply must be with you. Aww. Each day with you is an adventure, and where adventurers go, storytellers must follow. Damn, this man's trying to butter me up right now, alright? That's very nice of you, I, I appreciate that. I like to drink, and I like the wind. Oh, if only there was such a thing as wind brewed cider. I was actually just about to say that. I was about to say, imagine, how, how do you combine your two favorite things? Actually, maybe he could have a drink while skydiving. That'd be kind of fun. I'm actually highly allergic to cats. I start sneezing as soon as they enter the vicinity. Mm. And... Uh, 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 <laughs> oh, oh, apparently, I can't even think about cats without sneezing. Do you think there's a cure for this monstrous affliction? Uh, I mean... Not really. Here, have an apple. I just picked it. Look how ripe and juicy it is. Oh, mm, mm, mm. Ah, truly the fruit of the gods. I love that last line. Truly a fruit of the gods. L, do you know that gods of death love apples? Venti's a god of death confirmed. Let's go. Hmm, what's that tasty morsel you've got there? Ooh, a melted cheese pancake. A smelly, sticky, slimy, disgusting mess. Melted cheese pancake? What the hell is that? That actually doesn't sound that... He doesn't like cheese either, so that's the whole thing. Whoa, what was that? Good work. Shall we repose for a moment with a tune? Shall it be a capriccio or a serenade? Uh, I don't know what a capriccio is, so serenade me, Venti. Come, sit with me. I've written a new poem. I call it... Wind of the Traveler. And lastly... Hmm. Though I've long since viewed this scenery a great many times, there is something different about seeing it again with you. Surely you're not still concealing some other wondrous abilities. <laughs> hmm. Even if you were, it would simply further prove that my intuition is correct. Love Venti. Yeah, Venti's been great. Loved his character quest. Love his, uh, you know, his personality. Uh, I feel like there's so much more to him that is just beneath the surface of what we see and how he acts and behaves, especially with how he used to, like, get shit done in the past and how, like, how, I guess, uh, powerful and, and frightening he can be when he actually, like, goes all out. So, uh, yeah, Venti's, uh, wrapped up. Really liked that one.